Hi again, Year 3. It's so nice to see you. Um, today in RE uh, and this week, we're going to be looking at some really famous uh, Islamic tile patterns. So just like you might have tiles in your bathroom, um, Islamic architecture, so buildings that are built in countries uh, that are Islamic or have lots of Muslims living in them, they use these very, very famous repeating tile patterns. Uh, and you can see one on the screen here. So this is uh, a pattern. If you were to take this and you were to repeat it again and again and again, it would match up perfectly each time. Well, this this exact tile wouldn't quite because it's not a very good photo, but I'll show you some in a moment. You can see how they will lay out. And you might think, gosh, what's you know tiling got to do with God? Because it's just tiling, isn't it? When I look in my bathroom, I don't immediately think about God. But the uh, use of these tiles in Islamic architecture, in mosques, does actually tell us something about their beliefs in God. So this is a mosque, um, and remember a mosque is where Muslims worship. So this is a mosque in a place called Morocco, which is a country in North Africa. Um, you can see at the top here, these tiles, they contain remember this word calligraphy that we talked about so it's not immediately obvious you wouldn't look at those and straight away see that they had Arabic writing in them but if you look here you can just about make out there are uh, Arabic words in those tiles so yes it, you know calligraphy is really important if you can't show a picture of God then writing the name Allah or writing the words of Allah from the Quran is really important here um, below you can see what I'm talking about with this beautiful repeating tile pattern. Uh, these tiles they repeat perfectly so if you go down here one after the other after the other after the other you could lay those tiles out forever and you would still get the same repeating pattern. If you look in the background here you can see that these tiles on the larger area repeat perfectly as well so they're repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. So you often see patterns uh, like this in mosques and in Islamic centres. Uh, I'm going to show you how this one tessellates. That's the word for when this repeats like this. So you can see for each one I add, it's matching the next one perfectly. And it's creating a pattern that goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. So I'm going to add some more and the last one. And there you have it. And you can imagine that pattern if you made it as big as the moon it would still tessellate, it would still match each other up perfectly. So it's quite clever how they do that, I think. Um, but again, we're asking this question, what does this actually show us about God? What does this teach us about Muslim beliefs about Allah? So the fact that the pattern repeats forever reminds Muslims that Allah goes on forever. So if you remember one of the things that we learned about Allah a couple of weeks ago was that Allah goes on forever. Allah is not bounded, Allah is not restricted by human space. There's no shape or form or gender to Allah, so Allah is just what's called infinite. Allah goes on forever. So infinite, 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 I-N-F-I-N-I-T-E, that means going on forever. So you could say, gosh, it feels like Mr. Smith's lesson is infinite. That would mean that you felt like it was going on forever. But in this case, it really means Muslims believe Allah never had a beginning, will never have an end, because Allah has always existed and goes on forever. And that's how these tile patterns um, relate that. They go on forever and ever infinitely. So I'd like you to take a break uh, to get your booklet out. And you can see I've included here a copy of this repeating tile pattern and I'm asking you um, what does infinite mean so you've got some information on the screen and I've talked you through it and I would just like you to write a brief description in here of what you understand by the word infinite and here we have absolutely stunning this is uh, in a mosque you're looking up at a ceiling here an example of these beautiful infinite repeating patterns just look you've got these circle patterns here repeating you've got these patterns repeating all made up of either tiny tiles or big tiles with the patterns printed on them the idea is it goes on and on and on it repeats it goes round and round and round 
it shows, it reflects, it reminds Muslims of how infinite God is, or Allah. So, when a Muslim looks up and sees this, they remember that Allah is infinite. Allah goes on forever and ever and will never stop existing. And here's what we're going to look at next week. This is a mosque. Um, I will show you more about it next week. But just stop for a moment and see if you can see some repeating patterns here. Look at these columns. Look at this here. Look at the, the detail underneath this arch. Even look at the columns down here. All of this is repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. And that's really important to Islamic art and architecture. Repetition and reflecting the infinite, the forever going on nature of Allah. Right, so I hope that was interesting for you. Next week, we're going to take a look at this mosque in a bit more detail. Um, and yeah, I will speak to you then. See you later. Bye bye.